Hi everyone, my name is Erin Elizabeth Wamberg. Thank you so much for choosing to be here with me today. Today we're talking about, it's a little <laughs> hard to understand the title. I mean, you know, it's a little cryptic. Knowing where you've been so you can know where you need to go. I'm going to talk about this because I believe in a lot of like connecting to ourselves. This is going to be presented in a way of how you can move forward with your life if you're feeling blocked or kind of knowing where you came from so you can rewrite those patterns. So the self-help industry, okay, all of that, it's like billions of dollars. It's something wild. There's a lot of money in it. And so you can open the internet and you can, you can go to the library. You can find anything near you where there is like so much information and so much help on so many different things. And sometimes if we don't know ourselves or our own energy, then we just might be like pushing really hard against something that doesn't help us because it doesn't apply to our particular situation. So someone could be giving the best advice of the world and it makes perfect sense. And yes, it's amazing. And this is really gonna help me. And then it's just not. So if you feel like you've been like trying and trying and trying, or you're trying to do these things or you're following the advice or the thing that's in right now or whatever, and it's just not working for you, it just isn't clicking it's gonna be really important to take some time with yourself and to think, okay, what have I been through? What is my story and how can I rewrite that? Because like I said, if someone is giving the best advice in the world, totally amazing, totally wonderful, that might not be what's helpful for you. And it could be even something that helped you a year ago, doesn't apply to you now, or you have a different energy pattern in different areas of your life. And so you need different advice for different things. So just as an example, um, if you grew up and um, what can we use? We can say money, right? Let's say money was like this taboo thing. You didn't talk about it, like whatever. So you have that money story, but then you have a different story about like um, relationships. Like I, I always need to be in a relationship. I always need to have one. My identity is connected to that. that so that's two very different stories underneath. Okay. Maybe like the programming is the same, but if we look at the money thing, right, you probably don't need to learn a particular skill set that someone's teaching. You need to find the exact thing to help you understand, okay, I have lack mindset here. I feel like I can't keep money or having money isn't safe or whatever your story is, you have to identify that so you can rewrite it. And then same thing with relationships, right? So there's people who maybe think like, I need to be in a relationship all the time so I can have a sense of self, I can have a sense of my identity, I know who I am. And then there's other people who have the story of relationships are not safe, they're not for me, I don't ever wanna be in one, not even gonna open my energy up to it at all. So it can be a little bit, so if we take those examples, right, and look at any area of your life with food, with um, career goals, with anything in your life where you want something different or something better for yourself, you need to look at and like collect the dots of your story, collect what happened, collect um, where you came from, collect things that have happened to you and just kind of dive into that and think, okay, if this, this, and this happened to me, what did that lead me to leave, believe about myself now? And so if we look at those examples again, one with money, one with relationships, right? There's a million bazillion people who can help you with relationships. You can go talk to a therapist about relationships. You can go do all that stuff, but unless you understand the context with which you're coming at this from or what happened to you or you know the programming you got it's going to not going to be very helpful <laughs> if you don't know that because they're going to be like okay did you do this this and this and again you could be following exact perfect step by step formula that someone provides for you but if it's not connecting to your wounding or it's not a wound that you have it's not something you need to rewrite or like a a framework you need to rewrite then it's not actually gonna help you long-term from doing all that stuff. So it's gonna be really important for you to uh, do some journaling, do some reflecting. This might not be fun, might be a little annoying or triggering or anything like that, but this is what, this is just part of it. So, you know, journal through, okay, what do I believe about this particular thing? And also what is my reality about this thing? What has been my experiences with this thing? What have I seen in my life as patterns related to this particular thing, this situation, this whatever? And so when you start to do that, and when you start to look at all the programming you have, you're gonna be able to then be like, okay, I don't actually need to learn, um, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't need to 
I don't need to learn how to be in a relationship. I need to learn how to like trust someone, like let myself feel like I can trust someone else to be in a relationship. Once I'm in the relationship, maybe I'm fine. I mean, you know, there's always stuff to work through, but I need to learn how to even open my energy up to that versus someone who might be like habitually all the time in a relationship. They're going to need different advice and guidance than someone who has different type of wounding. So to work through this, I think it's really important to just do some journaling. So just thinking about in my life right now, what am I unhappy with or what do I, you know, what goals do I have? What things do I want to achieve? So make a list of that and then go through and say, okay, what has been my pattern with this particular area? And none of this is about blame or that you're stupid or you suck or any, <laughs> okay, this is just awareness. We can't change anything or rewrite anything if we're not aware of what's going on with it. So it's going to be really important for you to just offer some compassion and loving awareness to yourself. And again, this isn't a time to judge yourself. It's just so you can be aware so you can change it. Because if we don't have any awareness about something, we can't change something. Sometimes our ego wants us to make, wants to make us think that if we're aware of something, then, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh no, something's wrong with me because I'm aware of this, but it's actually the most important step one. So that once you're aware of it, you can change it. If you're not aware of it, it's just going to be subconscious until you're consciously trying to do something about it. So just learning, just journaling and getting curious, not judging yourself, but saying, this is my pattern. This is what I went through. This is what it's like for me. And then once you have all that information, kind of see if you can see some running themes through there. So are there certain things that, um, you know, you see like, okay, maybe the situation changed a little bit, but here's some themes that I noticed. And it could be a particular pattern, but maybe try and think about how you felt during those times, um, what limiting beliefs came up. Maybe every time, you know, you spend money, you um, feel like, oh my God, I'm never going to have any money ever again. Okay. That's a pattern. So maybe like you can spend the money and you're making money and it's fine, but it's like that feeling coming up. So not just only the how the situation looks, but especially how it feels. That gives us a lot of insight into things and patterns we have in our lives based on how we're feeling for certain situations. So paying attention to what has happened, how you felt during those times, um, and then just get clear like about, okay, well, if I know, you know, every time I spend money, I feel really nervous and stressed out, I would like to actually feel secure. That's great. And so kind of rewrite it into where you want to go. And again, this isn't time for you to... <laughs> bash yourself or be mean to yourself or judge yourself or anything like that when you do this this is just about awareness and so once you realize okay this is where I want to go then that's where you need to be like, okay so I need to find someone who can help guide me or I need to do inner work or I need to work with depending again on your situation like you need to decide what's best for you you are the ultimate authority of your own life your own experience like you know what's best for you you can ask people for help but you know what's best for you and so once you have the information you decide, okay, this is the pattern I need to rewrite. This is what I want to focus on, right? It will be easier for you to find someone. And you can even say a little prayer, like, please bring this person to me who can help me work through this, this, and this thing. But again, this isn't a way to bash yourself. This isn't like, oh my God, I'm so horrible because this, this, and this happened. And even how you do this process <laughs> might be a little, there might be some little insights in there. So for example, if you're, if you're someone who's been hard on yourself your whole life, right, you try to do something, you try to do some self-help something, you try to, I don't know, do something different in your life and you're like, I have to be perfect or else I'm never going to get it. Or if I'm not perfect, it doesn't count. You're saying mean things to yourself while you're trying to do this, there's something. Or on the other hand, right, so another experience might be you kind of give yourself a pass to like, well, it's okay if I don't do it perfectly and it's okay if I don't do this and and it just kind of like, so there is no change because there's no accountability. And obviously there's healthy levels of both of those things. So in the human experience, there's one extreme or the other, and then there's like a healthy medium that we want to get, but everyone's healthy medium is different. So if you tend to have the experience of this way or this way more than the other one, it's going to be important for you to think about, okay, if I typically lean towards here, how can I call in a little bit more energy of this way? And just finding that, you're finding your footing, feeling it out, figuring out what works for you, what doesn't work for you. But if you don't know the patterns that you already have, then you're not gonna be able to find the right advice for you, find the thing that actually helps you, find what is actually beneficial for you. Because again, we're all born, we all have programming, we all have these experiences that have made up 
how we see ourselves, how we interact with the world, any of all that stuff. And so if you're not aware that you're doing this, this, and this thing, then it's going to be a little bit harder to kind of change the pattern or change what you want to work through because you're just kind of like going at it, just guessing, right? Just throwing and see, seeing what hits. And there is, of course, you're not going to get it right perfectly. There is going to be a little bit of like figuring out your footing and moving along, but a way that you can kind of make the process a little bit smoother for yourself is just being aware of, okay, where did I learn this? What patterns do I have? How do I want to change them? Right. So, cause if everything was just as simple as, you know, doing something differently, there'd be, it would, we would all be amazing. <laughs> we'd all be superheroes at life, but we all have our programming that affect and the blocks and the limiting beliefs we have about why we don't just change certain things or do something differently in our life. It could be fear. It could be lack. It could be we don't want to be punished. We don't want to be seen. I mean, there's many, many, many reasons why infinite as infinite reasons why as there are experiences for people. So just beginning to, again, like starting to think about, okay, how, what have my patterns been? What have my experiences been? What has that meant for me? What did I believe about myself because of this, this, and this thing? And it's only through awareness, are we going to be able to start to move and shift those things? And again, don't beat yourself up. Don't be mean to yourself if it takes you like, you know, a little bit of time to get your footing, to figure it out, to move through this stuff. It is just about bringing some loving compassion and awareness to yourself and some understanding so that you are going to be able to move through it. Okay, I hope this serves you. If you ever want any information about me, all that is linked below. Thank you so much for being here. And that's it. I hope you have a wonderful day.